Hey everyone, Extreme Crypto with more crypto news. The reason why XRP is getting sued by the SEC. A popular crypto analyst is laying out the possible reason why the US Securities and Exchange Commission went after Ripple with a lawsuit. In a new video deal, Coin Bureau host guys tells his 2.03 million YouTube subscribers that many other crypto projects fits the profile of XRP but the SEC target the 7th largest cryptocurrency due to the fact that Ripple is based in the US. This makes it much easier for the SEC to go after compared with other large crypto projects that are based elsewhere. The thing is that the SEC does seem to be going after those two as revealed by its surprise lawsuit against Terra and its Meyer protocol late last year. The SEC has gone after overseas crypto companies in the past as well. The analyst says that Ripple's deep pockets are also to blame for the lawsuit. The second possible reason is that Ripple has a lot of money and the SEC is trying to secure a sizable settlement that will make for good deadlines and potential be used to fund the expansion of its regulatory operations. Now in my opinion, if they're doing something wrong, by all means go for it. But if the SEC had a solid case, why ain't the case wrapped up as of yet? Before we continue to more news, have a look at Bitscap, a smarter way to automate your crypto trading. Best crypto trading bots, algorithmic orders, portfolio management, and a free demo mode, all in one. Automate your crypto trading with powerful bots. Bitscap helps you set simple and sophisticated trading robots to make a profit autonomously 24/7 in different market conditions. And the main benefit about Bitscap, you're using API keys, so you're not sending your funds to a promise to pay. ADA on-chain analysts find bullish trend in growth in number of Cardano whale addresses. The number of Cardano wallets with over 10 million Cardano on a network is seemingly on the rise and has grown by 2.4% over the last week, showing large holders accumulating the cryptocurrency even as its price falls. According to data shared by on-chain analyst Ali Martinez on social media, Cardano whales have been accumulating tokens even as the price of cryptocurrency plunges from over $1 to $0.81 cents low. Now we've seen this all over the crypto market. Every time the market dumps, institution and whales is buying up while retailers are selling. If this not the indication that you should be holding your crypto or buying more, you need to get out of it. The long-term potential is massive. ETH2 deposits contract now holds 10% of the circulating ETH supply. The ETH 2.0 deposit contracts can only be unblocked after the POS transition postponed to the latter half of the year. The deposit contracts for staking Ethereum on the Beacon chain reach a balance of 12 million ETH on Friday. The total locked value of Ether in the ETH2 contract is worth about $34.5 billion. The deposit contract has launched in November 2020 and currently holds around 10% of the total circulating supply of ETH. The Beacon chain is the first major step in Ethereum's transition from a proof of work to a proof of stake, consonant model. A trader must invest a minimum of 32 ETH to become a validator in ETH2. This is the largest beacon chain contract, value at 34.5 billion, highlights the enormous demand and trust in the future of ETH2, despite several delays over the past year. If you're putting in 32 ETH at the current price, which rounds up close to $100,000. Ethereum or ETH2 must be doing something wrong, right. Three reasons why Dogecoin price 
can now gain 50% by September. The first reason is a falling wedge breakout is in play. Dogecoin has been painting a falling wedge pattern on its lower time frame chart since May 2021, ending a potential for a bullish reversal in the coming months. The second reason, Elon Musk Twitter equation. Earlier this week, Twitter announced that it had accepted Elon Musk's bid to buy its social media platform for, it says 4 billion, but that's a mistake. It's 44 billion dollars. Dogecoin price reacted bullishly on the possibility that Musk would integrate Doge as one of the official payment mediums for Twitter subscription services based on his recent recommendations to the company's board. And the final reason, Dodge investors are getting excited. Musk's Twitter equation announcement on April 25th and its subsequent positive impact on Dodge prices, which rose by nearly 20% on the same day, coincided with a spike in the retail and institutional interest. While my opinion, Alan Musk buying Twitter and liking the meme coin Dodge, creating an opportunity and a use case for Dogecoin, making it a great opportunity for the coin to reach its 50% gains in September. No guarantees, but time will tell for sure. Binance blocks Kremlin linked Russian accounts. Key takeaways, Binance has blocked several accounts linked to the Russian Kremlin. It comes after the firm said it would limit Russian national residing in Russia from making deposits over 10,000. Binance was recently accused of handling user data over to Russian officials, but the exchange has denied allegations. Now, if they're blocking the Russians, why would they have been giving them data? I agree. Deny the allegations. It doesn't make sense at this point of view. Ukraine's Minister of Digital Transformation acknowledged the move, saying that everyone connected with Putin regime will feel the consequences of war. Now, the war has shocked the markets, the crypto markets, the stock markets, even the community markets. Will we see it regain momentum and get back to where it was? This is the latest news. We'll be back as we see more news coming through every single time. I'm very bullish on crypto. It's better and better news every time I read and research more crypto. What's your thoughts? What's going to happen? Are we going to drop massively or are we going to see gains? What will the weekend hold? Have a great one.